fakir lying on a bed of nails may look like an impressive feat, but there's nothing supernatural about it. As long as there are enough nails, the weight is distributed among them so that the pressure exerted by each nail is not enough to puncture the skin. Removing a single nail will make no difference. Why mention this? Because of a class action lawsuit that has been launched against the S.C. Johnson & Son Company, uh, which manufactures Ziploc bags. The suit alleges that the bags are marketed as microwave safe and suitable for freezer use, whereas under such conditions they actually release microscopic bits of plastic that contain the food inside and consequently end up in the body where they may interfere with the gut microbiome or even damage cells leading to cancer and cardiovascular disease. Not using Ziploc bags, I think, is the equivalent of removing a single nail from the bed of nails. This is not to say that there's no issue with microplastics. The problem is that they are everywhere. They're in our food, our water, and even in the air we breathe. Water cruises through plastic pipes. Our food is packaged in plastic. We wear clothes made of plastic fibers. We sit on plastic seats in our cars, clutch a plastic steering wheel, and have our tires spew tiny plastic particles into the air as they rub against the pavement. Therefore, it comes as no surprise that studies have found microplastics and their cousins, the even smaller and invisible nanoplastics, in every body part that has been examined, including the brain. The question is what sort of mischief they may be causing. At this point, we don't really know, but there are some worrisome observations. In the laboratory, these tiny plastic particles can cause the death of kidney cells, but the concentration of microplastics used was significantly higher than the concentration released from plastic containers. Animal studies have also raised concern. Mice-fed polystyrene microplastics show loss of cognitive ability. When placed inside a cage with a snake, they are fearless, not at all like normal mice. As far as human studies go, there are not many, because you can't go feeding plastic to people to see what happens. One study in China did show that people over the age of 60 who reported higher exposure to plastics because they used plastic tableware and drank from plastic bottles had a 24% higher risk of mild cognitive impairment. Another study found that people diagnosed with dementia have more microplastics in the brain. Is there anything we can do to reduce exposure to microplastics? We can use glass or ceramic to heat food in the microwave and use glass containers for storage. We can favor cotton fabrics and refrain from using disposable plastic cutlery and uh, drinking water or soft drinks from plastic bottles. However, this probably has the same effect as removing a single nail from the bed of nails. As far as Ziploc bags go, I'm not concerned about using one for my sandwich but I wouldn't put it in the microwave. And more importantly, I don't discard it, I reuse it. That for today is our cup of joe. And uh, I drink that cup from uh, a ceramic mug.